En el centro de la pampa vive un pimiento. Sol y viento pa' su vida. Sol y viento. Hello, I'm Patrick Barnard. It is the winter of 2010. Welcome to the 18th edition of the Pimento Report. The Pimento Report in December carried an appeal from the Green Coalition directly to you, the video viewers, to contact Montreal Mayor Gérald Tremblay, asking him to preserve Montreal's natural spaces program, what's known as the Politique de Protection et Mise en Valeur des Milieux Naturels. You did right, you spoke, and Mayor Tremblay listened. Thank you very much. The natural spaces program, after being curtailed, was reinserted in Montreal's budget at the last moment. 12 million a year for the next three years to protect and acquire natural green spaces in Montreal. That should allow Montreal to move from 5% protected natural green spaces to its stated near-term goal of 6%. This change finally happened because the mayor responded to continuous Green Coalition advocacy until finally Tremblay phoned the coalition Sylvia Olyamark at 8 p.m. on the night before he announced his budget news. There was going to be a renewed commitment to the natural spaces program in the 2010 budget. Here's Mayor Tremblay in council on the next day, on budget day, January 13, 2009, responding to Monsieur Jean-Claude Lantier, who was protesting that the natural spaces program appeared to have been stopped in mid-course. Monsieur Lantier asked if he, as a citizen, should fear that real estate developers control the fate of natural green spaces in Montreal. Alors, merci, M. Lantier, pour votre question. En réponse, M. le maire de Montréal. Bonjour, M. Lantier. La réponse à votre question, c'est non. Et si vous prenez connaissance du budget 2010, vous allez voir qu'il y a 12, 12 millions de dollars par année pour les trois prochaines années pour la protection, l'acquisition, l'aménagement et le maintien des, métiers, des milieux naturels. Donc, euh, ce que souhaitait notamment la coalition, la coalition verte et vous, c'est qu'on continue le programme. Alors, vous avez le programme, mais par contre, la personne qui en est responsable va évaluer euh, la meilleure façon d'atteindre les objectifs euh, ambitieux que nous nous sommes fixés. Alors, euh, je pense que votre souhait est exaucé et le plus rapidement possible, on va continuer à protéger les aires naturelles et aménager celles qui existent, Monsieur le Président. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le maire. We've come to a point now where I think we can trust that there's going to be a continuation of the natural spaces protection policy. And we have a, a budgetary allocation that should suffice Barely. And uh, so uh, kudos to the mayor for having uh, recognized uh, the will that was expressed through the campaign that the uh, Green Coalition uh, launched. And um, we hope now that we're going to be able to uh, get on uh, with what was left off in, in the autumn. Uh, there's much still to be done. Uh, we need another percentage point, which would be 500 hectares. There's much to be acquired, uh, particularly in the west end of the island, but also in the far east of the island. And um, we hope that Meadowbrook and the Tram Verde de Sud-West will also be beneficiaries of, of this uh, renewed largesse on the part of the mayor. David Fletcher just mentioned a green space in Montreal called Meadowbrook. There's a public golf course there now. It lies due west here along the escarpment of Saint-Jacques. For the last 20 years, a group called Les Amis de Meadowbrook have been fighting to maintain this green space, fighting against various kinds of developers. It is a prime candidate for becoming re-naturalized, for becoming a nature park. Let's go to Meadowbrook now and talk to Joanne Goldwater. She's been fighting for more than 20 years to protect that as a green space in Montreal. Meadowbrook is important because it's the last remaining green space uh, between the West Mount Mountain and the West Island. And the citizens of Montreal desperately need green space. If, if Meadowbrook is developed, that's the end of it. It can never be reclaimed or it would never be in the same state that it is now. We have the perfect opportunity now to reestablish it as a natural space, which would be open to people to enjoy it, to use as walking trails in the winter cross-country ski and snowshoe. And this really is very important for health reasons, both physical and psychological, that people have access to such a space. Right now, the urgent need is to secure the land and, and to make sure that it's conserved. So we implore the mayor 
uh, and his council to look after what really needs to be done in the year, International Year of Biodiversity, and that's conserve biodiversity. Meadowbrook is exactly the kind of green space that could be acquired by Montreal under the revived Natural Spaces program, so it's a kind of test case of the city's real commitment. This space is now owned by a real estate developer, but it's really unsuitable for building because it's hemmed in by railway lines and facilities. Setback rules for railways in Ontario would prohibit building on this old railroad land, but not in Quebec, and the topography here is unchanged from a century ago. Yet rumors abound that a development announcement is coming this spring. In January, Green Coalition member Avram Stern led an information expedition through what Avram, standing in a bus shelter, described as one of the last of Montreal's rare and endangered green spaces. It's uh, Stranos, uh, Montreal West, Lachine, and Cote Saint Lou. And um, we've been working on this file for over 20 years. We want to make it into a nature park. Sometimes it, uh, it gets lonely out there. It's a, it's a lonely battle, but it has to be fought because we need the green to survive. So here we are uh, uh, right near the exposed part of the uh, Little St. Pierre River, the southern branch. Uh, Meadowbrook is around 57 hectares. Uh, and uh, should it be saved, Avram? Saved. Absolutely, it should be saved. Most definitely. Most, Most definitely. definitely. Yeah. Why? 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 Because it's one of the last open, uh, open spaces in the west end of Montreal. It reminds me a lot when this adult man was a little child. This one right here. And he played along here. We came tobogganing and summer and walking and looking at trees and looking for the fox. So how long have you known this place? We moved in here in 2002. I've been out here every night, year in, year out, uh, with my dog. What do you think the chances are of preserving this? I think they're very good. I keep hearing uh, these rumors, but I don't think anybody except that developer is really interested in, in destroying this place. So what could be done is this could be uh, under tunnel, right? You know what? Right. You have an underpass. Right. Under you. Right. Is Not there a train ten. coming? Ten more minutes. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> This is Patrick Barnard for the Pimento Report saying goodbye. The big question now is whether Montreal and Gérald Tremblay will follow through with a real natural spaces policy. And Meadowbrook is just one of a set of test cases of the city's good faith. Let's leave the last word to Joanne Goldwater of Les Amis de Meadowbrook. I walk there and I feel like I'm in the country. I feel like I'm away from the the hubbub of the big city. It's so relaxing. You, you hear the birds and it's quiet except when the trains go by. It's a, a wonderful relaxing place to be. I hope that the real onus lies with the mayor. Uh, he's the man that will meet people in Nagoya in October of this year. He's the one that will be leading uh, the cities of the world in their efforts to conserve biodiversity. And so I think the major thrust should come from the mayor. I mean, he's the person that should keep this on track. He knows what the stakes are better than anybody else, I think, on the executive committee. And so we implore the mayor to be himself, the watchdog of his own council and his own executive committee to make sure that the, the, the commitment to spend 12 million for the next three years is honored. <laughs>